So let's talk about adrenal fatigue a little bit, which is a, a controversial subject. Um, lots of doctors here in the United States don't really believe that it's a, a real condition. Um, I, most of the doctors in Europe believe that it's a real condition, and the World Health Organization actually believes it's a real condition. They call it 21st century syndrome. Um, essentially, the, the theory is if, it's, if adrenal fatigue is not real, then the adrenals are normal, until in someone they crash, which is called Addison's disease. And at that point, you pretty much have to put that person on prescription cortisol replacement to make the, the, the cortisol that their adrenal glands are not producing. With adrenal fatigue, it's not to that extent. We feel like it's the, the adrenals have been taxed, if you will, and they just kind of start wearing out a little bit. And I believe that it's a real condition, and I think it's it's modern life that does that. I don't think we were really designed to be under constant chronic stress. When you think about traffic and you know taxes and the news and terrorism and and just the world that we live in today, it's really um, I don't think humans as an organism have caught up to uh, to our current lifestyle basically. So. If you have it or if you suspect that you have it or if you've had testing done that confirms it, um, where, where do you go? So for me personally, I really try to avoid prescription cortisol replacement unless it's absolutely necessary. So my first step is usually to use some form of supplement that's going to kind of nourish and support the adrenal gland and help it to rebuild, if you will. Um, and then, of course... I won't go into this in detail, but stress reduction techniques, trying to mitigate the stress, trying to avoid unneeded stress is absolutely critical. So it's kind of take the workload off the adrenal and then rebuild it and things get back to a better situation. But it's become my clinical practice if someone says, well, what do you think I should try first as far as an adrenal supplement? These two have become my favorite. Nothing against any of the other ones, but... Um, so Cytosime AD, made by Biotics Research, um, and they make many different cytosimes. So the one that I like and have used in my practice is Cytosime AD. It is a desiccated bovine glandular. So I think that it probably contains substances that are kind of vitamin-like uh, substances, if you will, that, that help the adrenal gland do what it's supposed to do. Um, and, and it just, it works. It's probably one of the most uh, popular supplements in our practice. And most people that take this just feel like they have better energy, better endurance. Um, they just feel better. Um, it's not really a stimulant. It's not really supposed to make people anxious or shaky, although I have had a couple people that, that thought that it did, but the vast majority just tell me that just energy is better. On the other hand, ashwagandha is an herb. Um, this herb has been used in Ayurvedic medicine for over 4,000 years. Ashwagandha is, is interesting because it does different things for different people, and I don't know why that surprises me, but it, but it does. Uh, for some people, it will give them energy. It, it uh, helps, again, with like endurance and staying power and stuff. Other people, it really calms them down or makes them sleepy. So I've got some patients that will you know, take this in the morning for energy all day and other people that will take it just before bed so they can sleep at night. Um, I normally recommend if you want to try this, start on a day that you really don't have to be at your best, maybe a Saturday or something like that. Maybe take it around midday and if it stimulates you and gives you energy, all right, that's probably how your body's going to react to it. And if it makes you sleepy, like you need to go take a nap, then okay, now you know, you know what it's going to do and then you can use it depending on what reaction you know your your, your body has to this. Um, this bottle actually says to take a capsule um, twice a day. A lot of people don't feel anything at that level. They'll have to take more than one. So I've got people that will do three, four, even five capsules all at one time. And again, if it boosts them up, they're going to take it earlier in the day or throughout the day. And if it relaxes them, most people are taking it when they're stressed, when they're anxious, or to go to bed at night. Um, there's a lot of other adaptogens and herbals like rhodiola, holy basil, uh, ginseng, etc. Um, they definitely have their place too, but these two have really kind of become my favorite. They can also be used together, so I, a lot of patients will use both. Um, so anyway, that's just a little bit about adrenal fatigue, and I'll talk to you next time.